We're vlogging. Oh, hey, shoot. what's happening? Robert. Hey. Million boy. Million boy. One yeah, I'm starting to act different, so whatever. <laughs> I'm going to start calling him 1M from now on. What's up, 1M? Millie Rob. Millie Rob. <laughs> Not the you dance. You've heard about the Millie Rock. It's a Millie Rob. Oh, you said Millie Rock. What is it? What did you just you said Millie Rob. I said well, Millie there's Rob. the Millie Rock, but, but now it's the Millie Rob. Millie Rock. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> That's exactly what I said, sir. <laughs> so what's the day? What's the move? You tell us. Me and Noah are sitting here. <laughs> <laughs> just right. Well, Alexis working. used to dance. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> No. Um, well, you've never been on our vlog before. It's yeah. like the new biggest vlog that's gonna blow up in 2020. So You've been like blowing up and stuff on our vlog channel. So you guys are both gonna give your formal introductions on camera for those of audience members that don't know who you are. Hello. Spotlight's Hello. On you. <laughs> so My name is Alexis. On. You're Alexis? Hi, I'm Kelsey. You guys have last names or no? <clears throat> Alexis Clark. <laughs> Kelsey Gill. Awesome. And we'll I feel pop like we're taking attendance in school. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and We'll pop up the little pop tags, and boom, if, boom. if you guys could not harass them and be like, ah, say and saying all the stuff that you always say, like just show them some love. Just send them. They should comment like an emoji or something, like a sushi emoji. Why sushi? sushi? Don't you love sushi? I do love sushi. Wow. <laughs> See, I just knew that. And your favorite food is plants. <laughs> she's vegan. Ooh. For spiritual reasons, I think you should That's elaborate serious. on that because she was telling me about it. And it was pretty deep and pretty. Um, She's like, I don't want to get into this right now. <laughs> it was yeah, kind of personal, but <laughs> you could tell. Us. I think it would be cool for them to know. Just like energy, like energy never dies. So you look. Here's what happened. You had a, you explained it really good. Are you vegan? No. Well, so it's changed. Well, at first I did it because of the health reasons, and then I did it because the animals, and now I do it because spiritual. Oh, right, yeah. but, um, so you don't care about the animals anymore, just the spirit. <laughs> 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 so what you're saying is, so what you're saying is just. Spirit. You explained it really well. You, you, she gave me a really good yeah. one minute like synopsis. We put her on the spot. Yeah, yeah we did put you on the spot. We did put you. Being us with the camera right in front of you, people, you know, it's hard to. It's just like a a concept, like just an object he's holding, but yeah, it, it right. carries so much. Like, if I told you, if I had these and I was like, tell me about your why you're vegan or whatever, you'd It'd be like, so you would cool. tell me, and you'd be like, what the f is he doing holding a key? But because it's this, oh, so it's this piece right? of technology that's that captures so things, all of a sudden it's weird. So I could be like, hey, you guys having a fun time today? And you'd be like, yeah, whatever. But if I'm like, hey, you guys having a fun time today? Yeah. Then you, yeah. you just change. It's like, I mean, you saw us, we just get right into it when the camera's on. You yeah. could still maybe tell the reason why you're <laughs> vegan. Um, um, I'm vegan because I just feel like it makes me healthier and happier and makes me feel good And I mean, I don't judge anybody else that eats meat or anything. It's just what I like and what I feel I respect so. it when animal She didn't talk you didn't say it. <laughs> No, but basically animals that go to the slaughterhouse and stuff you guys know how animals are abused and stuff when they're being cooked and whatnot. They have emotions. They have emotions. And when they're being beaten and electrocuted and tortured and starved and all this terrible stuff. Yeah, they'd be yeah, doing electrocuted. zapping them and stuff. And they're depressed and then you kill them. Basically the meat and the energy from the animals is toxic and bad and it's got all those bad emotions and feelings. Get anxiety. And then you're eating that, right? Mm -hmm. Surely that's not gonna be good for you. So the energy gets transferred and then that's where I feel like all the anxiety and depression levels in your body ri like rises. And I think that's a completely valid and plausible thing that could happen. <laughs> Ryan took bacon last night, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Not in front of her, Rob, please. <laughs> and here's the thing. I support, like, I don't like that either. Like, I don't like the abusing animals, but... Well, where were we last night? In and out. We were in and out. And I feel bad now. It, it, it was good though. That's good. It's about the mindset. <laughs> but, but really like, bro, I can't stop eating that stuff. Right? And if I don't see it being abused, then it, oh, then it's just not happening, you know? What an ignorant mindset, you know? Let's be vegan. Let's be vegan. Be a vegan for a day. That's a vlog. Vegan for a day. Vegan for a day with the vegan expert. There we go. <laughs> okay. And Alexis can cook. Yeah. <laughs> So, you guys go to the zoo. Do they sell food there? Yeah. Do they only sell... Wow. Do they only sell plants? <laughs> like salads? They definitely sell like hot dogs and stuff. Why? Wait. Don't they care about the animals? Don't they care about animals and stuff? Y'all are going as hornets, so I don't know. 
But we had this conversation earlier about, you know what? Look at Australia with the animals burning and stuff. Predators, temperature, climate change. At least they're in a safe environment. They are in a safe, it might be the worst environment ever <laughs> <laughs> as far as thriving and stuff, but they know they're not gonna get eaten by a predator or burned. True. What do you think a lizard's gonna do? Like, the lizard don't care. I don't know, I can't justify zoos, man. But I just wanna feed a giraffe, so. <laughs> uh, and a rhino. You gotta see the last two rhinos ever <laughs> They're, they're the last two really get extinct. I'm yeah. the last one. So now we're at the zoo. They said the big animals like go back into their habitat. Habitat. They go back into their like enclosures and stuff at four and it's like 3.30 so we have no time. But zoo alert. Basically, I decided to take Alexis on a date today and she's having the time of her life at the zoo. Oh. So, right? Yes. She's having the best time. Yeah. We've seen one animal so far, but I still am having the time of my life. And we got these nuts. <laughs> And, we had nuts, and I got Ooh. recognized by the guy over there. So y'all are like really impressed. So <laughs> to be continued. Thank you. So I realized I'm not gonna be taking the camera out for every animal because like y'all know what animals they have in a zoo. But this is like one of my favorite animals. The Alexis is gonna tell y'all. Double waddled cassowary. There you go. And here he is. Like look at the colors. They just are, they're like really dangerous and stuff and angry and mean looking. Yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be showing every animal just because, I don't know, you guys know what an elephant looks like and what a rhino looks like. Me. But then I might have to pull the camera out for the rhino. What time is it? Because they said they were going to put all the animals away at like 4. And it's probably like 4.30. Who's scared that? You said what, 45? Yeah, see, wait, where are we going? Where are we going to the bird thing, right? <laughs> Now, do you think that's like a black giraffe because it has darker things and the other ones have more orange tone? I think it's like, older. Like, don't you, why is it so dark? Oh, we're here now. So, I didn't really want to vlog at the zoo that much because, you know, I just said it like I want to live my life and then capture the moments here and there And I don't want to be putting the camera in the girls faces and stuff because they were just trying to enjoy the zoo, too But they left me Just got to know <laughs> Hey, what's up guys? Hey, just got a little touch up today Haircut because I wasn't invited to go on a trip to the zoo me neither <laughs> Rob and I uh, as you know don't have any crazy stories with girls because we don't get any <laughs> I just wrote a video today. It's okay. Because it's Boss Out 2020, no right. problem. But you got the cut though. Got the cut though. Do a clean up. Ooh. Um, kind of dripped down for no reason right now in the apartment. I always just assume that if I dress up, I'm going somewhere. And so then where are we going? We're going to go somewhere. Also, fun fact, not really that fun, actually kind of sad. I haven't ate all day <laughs> and it's 7.42. Why is that? I don't know. And again, it's a question only I should be able to answer. I just kind of get lost in time. I still think to this day, even moving to LA, even living in college, I don't think I've ever had a proper like time of day where my body's like adjusted to, oh, you're gonna eat it this time, this time, this time. It's always sporadic and probably not healthy at all. I do need some food, feel like empty shell. Brian has like so much energy right now, it's insane. He was like, bro, tonight's the night, like this is the night we're doing stuff. I was like, oh, really? And um, as you can see in his excited face, he's probably got some big plan. There's something up there, yeah. I'm, I'm excited. I'm Alexa said she might come back tonight. Okay. Oh, she won't. <laughs> I've been feeling sick guys like can everyone please pity me in the comments because I feel sick I've been nauseous for like three days and just sick and throat soreness for the past three days, too So y'all getting it next just a heads up. Who's hungry? Me. Rob's hungry. Yeah, I'm gonna bring back something. I'm gonna bring back some. Yeah. I just don't have energy to do anything. I need to get out of this apartment. Me too. I just hit a million subs. I hit a million subs. And I got a new cut. Whoa. This might be my favorite cut I got yet. Oh yes, daddy. <laughs> I call it the Millie cut. Little gel, a little messy action. Nothing crazy, but let the festivities the begin. Yeah, the life of a YouTuber is not as <laughs> fun as it seems. But you got the sign though. You got a sign though, and the mural. Got the mural though. How many people have a mural in their apartment? Got the rhino though. Nobody does because it's actually <laughs> against the rules to get anything painted on an apartment wall. Yeah. Yeah, we broke the rules of the apartment complex. We're not allowed to have any of this stuff up here. YOLO. Oh, well. Uh, but they let you hang stuff. You can hang lights and stuff. You can drill and have electrical in installations and chandeliers, but you can't have a painting on the wall. We're just going to paint over it. I say we leave it there. Yeah, we'll just leave it. And we're going to go eat. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yeah, we haven't really gotten to a routine quite yet. It's been, what, three months? <laughs> but, but hey. I need four. 
four months, but it's sad, it's true. we're slowly getting in. We're slowly getting into it. Gym and then eating good and then doing stuff. We'll get there. We're gonna go eat. <laughs>